In this chapter, we will delve into the scientific principles of refraction. Refraction is the change in direction of light as it passes from one medium to another with a different refractive index. This phenomenon can be observed in everyday life, such as when a straw appears bent in a glass of water due to the change in light speed. Let's explore the fascinating world of refraction and understand how it influences our perception of objects. Imagine observing a clear pond. The rocks at the bottom appear closer than they actually are due to the refractive index of water. This optical illusion is caused by the refraction of light as it transitions from water to air. When light enters a denser medium such as water, its speed decreases, causing it to bend towards the normal line. This bending alters the apparent position of objects, creating intriguing optical effects. Another common example of refraction is a rainbow. When sunlight passes through raindrops, it refracts, disperses into its constituent wavelengths and forms a spectrum of colours. Refraction not only bends light, but also separates it into different colours, painting the sky with vibrant hues. By understanding refraction, we gain insights into the principles of optics and vision, enhancing our comprehension of the physical world. So the next time you see a straw in a glass of water or witness a rainbow, remember it's all due to the scientific phenomenon of refraction. Imagine this, you're trying to catch a fish with your bare hands underwater. The fish seems so close, but every time you dive, it slips away. Why? Because of refraction. But let's talk about bears. These furry fishes swipe and bam, fish in one go. Do bears know physics? And what about hunting birds? They dive into the water, aiming deeper than where they see the fish. Bullseye every time. Physics masters, right? Or take the archer fish. They spit water to knock insects into the water. They aim where the insect, thanks to optics. Who taught them that? Who gives the animal kingdom the ability to hunt according to the laws of physics? The answer might surprise you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more curious content.